keep bullets me again. Anyways, um, I don't know if you guys ever really heard of, like, the whole, uh, classmates.com, you know, but, anyways, um, I think I was actually one of the first few people in, in my class in high school to sign up on classmates, you know, and right now, it's like, I think it's pretty much almost like the entire class is signed up, and there was a lot of people that were signing my guest book and all that sort of stuff, but then I had to, like, pay, like, $30 a month for $30 a year to see who actually signed my guest book, you know, there might have been some people that I probably might have known in high school, you know, although, I don't necessarily consider myself to be a total wallflower in high school. I mean, I was just a little reserved in high school, but I was always been the stereotypical, uh, socially awkward geek, in a way. Plus, uh, even in special ed, that you're kind of the loners anyways, you know, and then... It wasn't until, like, maybe after high school was when I found out I had, uh, Asperger's Syndrome, you know. So, anyways, um, although, uh, I pretty much got back together with a couple of other, my high school friends through MySpace and Facebook, you know, but, but, the only thing that's really bugging me lately is I haven't really gotten back together with my best friend since high school, Todd, you know, and I've been best friends with him, like, since, uh, eighth grade, you know, and although, as I kind of said before, I never really had any kind of feelings towards Todd that were beyond best friends, you know. And unlike some people that ha go having a crush on their straight best friend, you know, but that never really happened with me, you know, so, anyways, um, although I think I pretty much have reoccurring dreams about getting back together with Todd or, or talking to Todd about certain things, you know, and, it's like off and on, you know, and I think the other person I should really also try to get back together was also my friend, uh, Lisa. I think I had mentioned, mentioned it on, on here that I've known Lisa since third grade, and she was one of the first, uh, close, somewhat close friends that I had, you know, but then, and spite of all my awkwardness in, in elementary school and middle school, you know, and then Tisha was like the same thing, you know, I, I, I was also another friend, you know, but I, I never really had like a real close friend, like until Todd came along in eighth grade, you know, although there was also Steven, you know, I mean, he was kind of also my best friend from... I'm not really exactly sure it was like kindergarten, but it, but I'm definitely sure it was like first and second grade, you know. And then we went to a different school in third grade, and then I missed him so much in third grade, and then I, then I was in the same CCD class in fourth and fifth grade, and I think I just got tired of CCD, you know, and then I just went my separate ways with Steven after that. And, uh, um, and then let's see, I hadn't really reunited with Steven until after high school and when I started adult transition, you know, and I think Steven kind of changed a whole lot and then, which kind of caused a little bit of a conflict with 
Todd and uh, Lisa, they didn't care much for Steven. And then I was like, a rock, a rock and a hard, between a rock and a hard place, you know, because what if I have to be loyal to my old friend Steven or loyal to my friends that I know in high school, you know, and that, and that kind of caused a little bit of a, I forgot what they call it, inner, inner conflict, you know. And then, then of course, I left adult transition, and then, but I still kept in touch with Todd for, up until, like, five years ago, I think. And then, uh, after that, I think I've been trying to get a hold of him ever since, until... I just basically stopped calling him after that, you know, because I kind of uh, lost his number on my cell phone when I when I uh, upgraded the dash to Windows Mobile Six, and I lost all my contacts that I had originally had for the past six years that I stored on my phone. So as of now, I mean, I'm still in vain, trying to get back together with Todd, you know, trying to re reach out for him, you know, or whatever it is, you know. But I hope that maybe I'll probably get a hold of him at some point, you know, or if I do decide to go to the high school reunion next year, you know, because it's going to be like 10 years since I was high school, but although I feel a little bit embarrassed with the fact that I'm still at home, and I'm just completely discouraged as far as getting a job because of the adult transition, you know, and, and all that other stuff, you know, but although Todd is, is on his own, and and uh, working at Trader Joe's or whatever that place was called, and then and then uh, still lives in that apartment if he, near uh, where Dad goes to the lodge, you know. But and uh, other than that, uh, I have absolutely no idea what he's doing all this time. You know, but what if he's actually has a new girlfriend or whatever, you know, but, although, time may go, you know, so, until next time.